Carl's diary uh, for the next four straight years. Oh wow! Yeah, so this is going to go on for a while. I have five so minutes to spare. Come. So that's kind of cool. So I've got Dan's going to talk for half an hour. So yeah. Remember the, the, the or the Orwell Prize is the name of the, the Orwell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Very cool. You'll find it. Did you taste something over here? But that's a good one. Yeah. It's lucky. It is, isn't it? Especially. I saved it for you. Facing through the war, you know. Yeah. And stuff. I think Dan won. I can live here. Fuck yeah. River in front. I have to put a corral in back. Yeah. Sell the horse. Oh. Yeah, and that's perfect. Right there. I don't think my horse trailer fits. Do you, you need a podium or anything? No. Okay. <laughs> don't pack the trailer. I, uh, no, I don't have a wireless one. mic. For yeah. You. <laughs> <laughs> Why I am going to start this, but it's going to take me just maybe a half hour. I'm talking about once I start. But go from there. There's only five minutes of tape, right? Yeah. That's all we have. We have tape and we have uh, backup batteries. Yeah, five minutes. For si acaso, there's always a backup. Yes, will you take your shoes off before you come to the house? <laughs> oh, oh. oh my gosh, that's adorable. Okay, Look at that. I have some of the. Shane and I did her hair one day. Octopus and all. Everything is one of my favorite. And she said that was the guy that was the. the how did Rin and. The guy that was the door to door sale. Was that this last one? He was selling. Rudy Sanchez? Rudy Sanchez was selling it back to the leader. I'm looking at him. Oh. <laughs> Is he giving you a look out of the side of his eyes? It's a really good job, right? That's our joke. That's one of our jokes. What's that here? How about your surprise look? How about your surprise look? I thought Ella had the good surprise look. <laughs> Coming to the River House in uh, Peter's 40th birthday. This is the way Dan does it. He shows his he does this kind of thing. Uh, they didn't get to see it over there. Well, they can see it in the mirror. So they have a strategic uh, mirror. And, uh, Dan, I'd like to present the, the uh, equivalent in 3D to you. Uh, um, there's another gift I have to get out of the way. Uh, this uh, this pack uh, is now is now Dan's. Uh, that pack I bought. You were born in September of 1968, correct? Yes, correct. Okay, that pack was bought uh, either at the end of August or the beginning of September 1968. Uh, Gary Ims and I went to Europe and uh, we each bought a pack like this. So anyway, you can use that in the backyard. You Where know, did you buy this from? Uh, we bought it on First Avenue at an Army Navy place. Yeah, but it, it's approximately your age. It's, uh, after its shelf life, and uh, the, the one feature you really want to use is this belt. <laughs> and this part here that's all foul. That's what I threw my pack in the woods. <laughs> but that's yours. Uh, <laughs> What did I just do? I'm ready. Just a second. What did I do with that envelope that I just had? Not the, not the chart? No. Well, uh, so we need to talk about something for a second, will you? Here it is, right here. Okay. Uh, after I get done, it's it's open, uh, open mic for everybody. I have a, uh, what do you call those? PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> uh, this this Vance gave me years ago. I want you to look at this visual aid while I read this. Uh, Vic Condiani, the PI <laughs> photographer, took this picture in April of 1963 at its Howell uh, baseball field and uh, uh, playing first base. Anyway, here's a uh, 
my uh, poem for Peters. Considering the essentials at first and elsewhere for Peters, 40, first base. Beat the infield to position. Toss them tailor-mades. Don't make them work. When the catcher throws the last warm-up down, smooth the rough spots with the toe of a cleat. Know the hitters. Play back until things happen. They will. Anticipate. If the leadoff squares up and lays one down first, charge the bunt. Split the difference between the mound and the line. Go no farther than the rubber. That's the pitchers, the catchers. Get back if you can. Stay out of the way. If you're holding a runner at first and the bunt comes, break for the mound coming in at a 30 degree angle to the line. Stay out of the way. Second has first. A grounder to you and your back, lead the pitcher with your toss to first. Anything to second, short, or third, get to the bag, but don't commit. Straddle the bag with your heels at the 10 and 2 corners. Anything over your head, in the dirt, wide of the bag, is yours. Boarding house reach, short hops. Side hop the bag, left or right, once you know. Talk to runners only on their leads. Let the rollers die foul. Brush them aside. Pop-ups spin back in. Line up each throw from the outfield. Listen for the catcher. One throw and a rundown. Stay out of the way. Get some hits. Happy birthday. <laughs> okay, whoever's next, go. And if there's nobody next, uh, thank you very much. Here, let me grab some things from over here. Okay, and I see something here. Is this for me? So this is, who wrapped this? <laughs> That's good. Okay. Well, it says 40 on it, so I'll pick it up here. <laughs> So it can. It says pow. Uh, <laughs> hold, hold it still. Hold it up. Right there. What does it say? Pow. Dan Peters' 40th birthday barbecue at the river. On hand, free parking. You've all seen this. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That is great. Bring your own self and family. Oh, wow. Okay, Ella, we got to dig into this deal here. Okay, let's see what we got. 
This is from all your friends, I Peters. Like the wrapping. Thank you. Uh, including uh, Alkire and Rob. I'm forgetting anyone else. Oh, Peggy and uh, Peggy oh, Laura, too. Where's the knife? Oh, I don't have it. No knife. Loving, you got your knife? Are you loving? Or are you just, no, you're not asleep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. Okay. Thank you for not throwing it at me across the room. <laughs> Hear these poems? Thank you. Uh, Thank you for the pain. Are we going to hear these poems, Peters? Uh, yes. Here's Tom Moore. Okay. Yeah. And then you got one here from Bodine too. You stand it over here. Yeah. Next, Bodine. Yeah. I know the rule. <laughs> uh, poem celebration of Dan Peters' 40th birthday. Up to this point, he was the youngest, 30s to 60s. Now 40. Like a third baseman with a big stick, he stands before his class with a smile of assurance. Instead of feeling burners down the line, he carries the message. Reads the line, writes the comments, supports the students. Not complaining, he holds his glove under one arm, picks up some infield dirt, rubs it into his hands, turns to the outfield. Holds up the index finger and small finger of one hand, one out to go. Wow, thank you very much. <laughs> Is the camera going, Jim, or do we need yeah, to start? Yeah, I'm in charge. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is my wife, too. <laughs> Counting their steps. Threshold vocabulary for Dan Peters at 40. Not a fire poem, although fire cleanses, but something of the foolishness of God. Dale Himes, a man like yourself, follows a native speaker to her last breath. Recording this. Now I only know so far. God talk in a birthday poem. Exploring minor, exploring language on a miner's porch with Mexican campesinos. I'm told that the traditional metaphor for the male penis is the mango. Verde, maduro, o chupado. <coughs> this is Christian conversation in a bilingual world. Foolish, foolish. At 40, the world tilts each time you step into a doorway. Always a gift. Children know how to spin for this dizziness. Lost balance in between. Keith set up shop here in his 20s, giving careers to academics for the next 200 years. Pay a Jungian therapist $100 an hour, and he'll give you the word liminal after 10 visits. <laughs> the god of foolishness is not for sale. Bullshit is sound theology. Hacer desmadres. Doble sentidos. Words that will not give us a job. Career ending moves. This is fate acting on us in doorways. Congratulations. Felicidades. You have stayed true to this path. You arrive at 40 at the place where no one arrives. <coughs> Nunca lleguemos. The Mexican woman wraps her words 
in warm tortillas. Laugh at what's coming next. Echele el producto de gallinas. Lay eggs or write poems. You bet your life. The word of God, palabra de Dios. Okay. Now I think everybody can get back in the river, right? Thank you very much. I, I don't have anything to say. I wish I did, but it is a, it is a, it is a surprise birthday party. Uh, so thank you very much, everybody, for coming. Yeah, thanks. And now we can get back in the river. Wow. What do you got? Do you have dark circles? Oh, yeah. 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 Marnie? Yeah. 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 Marnie? Oh. The wisdom of the all, yeah, but like. many good choices in your life and uh, having your family is ranks right up there but you've also made wonderful choices of your friends and uh, you've just grown into such a wonderful man sure do remember the day you were born and your brother and sisters came running out of the big house in the country to welcome you home and Gran was there too, and so that just made it complete. Amen to that. Can't add anything to that. That was perfect. Enjoy the day. Enjoy your year of being 40. Yeah. It's a, there's, the best is yet to come. Dan was the youngest of four, so he had lots of parents. Uh, he had, uh, oh, mm, his childhood. Well, he, he, because he was the youngest, he sort of caught it from me. His, his brother and his sisters, they would play all sorts of uh, pranks on him. And he had to sort of adjust to that uh, as he grew up. He did grow up, uh, as I say, by, with a, a lot of parents. Uh, and, and most of it was really good. Uh, it, look what it created, created the man you are now. And uh, he was, he, uh, he, he, he raised us too, I would have to say. Uh, being parents is a, a, a growing experience and uh, being the parents of four was, uh, at times pushed me, but uh, I, I really grew as a result of it. And, uh, I remember incidences, and all of these have been told time and time again whenever our family gathers about going to the beach and uh, going out into the waves and, and leaving him in the care of his older brother and sisters was, I mean, what were we thinking? Uh, and I can remember camping, lots of camping trips. and. Uh, and uh, falling the victim of pranks about bears coming. And uh, he, he handled it all with quite a bit of grace. And uh, I, I, specific memories. I remember the year he did not, he could have started kindergarten when he was five. Because of your September birthday, we decided to have you start kindergarten when you were six. So the final year of your 
before you started kindergarten, he and I would have lunch together. We'd go on picnics uh, when we could. I have a great memory of that. And uh, it was real hard for me the first day you went to first grade and I had to eat lunch all by myself. That's one of my memories. Mm -hmm. Those are great.